everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Warland Tactical. Hope you guys have been well. I unfortunately was not. I've been pretty busy with work and I got attacked by the norovirus for about a week. I'm still on the tail end of it, but I'm better. I'm good enough to video. So here we are. We have a lot of stuff going on, guys. Thank you guys for subbing. I got to put that out there. Those of you who have been subbing like crazy on my channel, thank you. It's grown since January 1st. It's amazing. So you guys are pushing my channel. I'm pushing back to you by discount codes. If you have not seen the discount codes, you can find them on my channel or you can cruise over to Survival Outpost's channel, go under his community post, my friend's channel, and you will find the discount codes there. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts. I have a lot going on, guys. I've been working nonstop on this, even though I was sick, hitting up companies to bring more value to you guys. I have to give shout outs to BDT Tactical, Skull 5, Grayman Tactical, and again, Survival Outpost. I will post all their links somewhere on the video. It might even be like over here, here, doesn't matter or later on in the video, we'll see what I do. So in this video today, I got some gear sent to me and then I'm gonna go over a bit of kit that I have not shown you guys. I've talked to a few people about it, but I've never shown it. So first we'll go to the package. So I got some gear sent to me that I'm throwing on the ground from Adventure Medical Kits. First thing they sent me was an SOL survival blanket for two people. That'll make my wife happy, nice and warm. We got a Adventure Medical Kits visor, thank you. A personal first aid kit. If I can get this out of the box. A decal. A magnet for my fridge. Utilize that right now. A morale patch. Thank you guys very much. And yes, I'll be chasing you guys a lot. I'm going to clear this out, guys, real quick. Maybe take a bite of my breakfast burrito. I've actually taken a few bites. I'm hungry as hell, guys. Sorry about that. But hang on one second. Okay, guys, I'm back. Thank you for that. I need to eat my food real quick. I was super hungry. I laid the bag out, I have the contents out, I'm gonna go over that in just a second. Again, this bag is my volunteer medic bag. It's in place if I'm called upon during a natural disaster because I'm signed up through CERT and another organization for their medical services. I supply myself because I'm always prepared. Even if I think they have gear, you should always have gear on you. So let's get to the bag, guys. For bleeds and control bleeding, I have gauze pads in here, five by nine ABA pads. In this bag, I have various gauze rolls and some other gauze pads, three by threes, two by twos, spare pair of gloves and triangular bandage. I keep trying the bandages in certain areas because if you wrap wounds with gauze pads, sometimes tape doesn't do it. So I wrap it with a triangular bandage. Another bag of gauze pad, gauze rolls, sorry, Medi wrap. This is wrap that clings to itself, similar to an ace bandage, but way better. You don't need those little stupid clips. In here, which is gonna go in that kit, sorry. This is my blood stopper patch, it's two by two. And what it is, is if you have a finger wound, you put the patch on there, tape it, wrap it, whatever you gotta do. The solution or material that's in there coagulates the blood. It's great for finger wounds. Those bleed a lot. This is more like your all your boo-boos, which is your band-aids. Large patch, there's, I have every kind of band-aid in here. Large patch, fingertips, knuckles, everything. This is my ointment pack. I have triple antibiotic, ammonia inhalant, sting aid, antiseptic, towelette, and alcohol wipes for tools, which is gonna cover in a second. For burns, 
I cover that with burn age gel and burn dressings. It says right on it, cool, soothes, release pain. Good to go. These are non-inherent pads, gauze pads that have strips on this side and this side to let the wound breathe. It's great for burns. And here's my toolkit. I have QR, which is blood stopper, which is coagulates the blood, which is similar to stuff you see in the movies that they rip open the package and they put it on the wound and it stops the blood. These are applicators for nosebleeds, popsicle sticks, toe tags, various scissors and tweezers. And here there's more tweezers, safety pins. I put a gauze pad in there to cut down on the noise. I don't like things that jingle. Jingle, yeah, that's right. This is iodine swabs, more tape, eye cups, finger splints, more applicators, and some hydrogen peroxide sprays. In this kit, I have eye dressings, triangular bandages, a whole bunch of emergency blankets to treat for shock, a triangular bandage, a throwaway um, emergency poncho, more applicators, a few sets of nitrile gloves. I never use latex because so many people are, are allergic to latex, so I go with the powder-free nitrile gloves. Ammonia inhalants, more iodine swabs, non-stick pads, disposable face um, CPR masks, some more blood stopper. I guess there's some more gauze pads in there. I gotta put those back over there. These are splint outs. If you don't know what splint outs are, if you have a splinter, just how it sounds, Open this up. You can get that into focus. It's a piece of metal with a tiny needle on the end. You poke it in there and you can use this as a scraper to remove the splinter. Let's put that over there because now it's contaminated. Over here, I have some more sprays. I have N95 masks. We all know what those are. These are similar to Israeli bandages, emergency bandage for large bleeds, head wounds. I have multiple of those. Airway opener kit for CPR. And here I have a biohazard cleanup kit for all your contaminants, your dirty gloves, whatever other contaminant material you have, you throw it in the bag and ready for transport. I have a portable like bib in case it gets really bad and large trauma dressings which I need some more of those and a surgical mask with a face shield so there you have it guys that covers my bag okay guys that's a wrap on my volunteer medic bag hope you enjoyed it I'm gonna wrap up the video towards the end I'm gonna put up the links for those discount codes and those great websites Pick up some gear, enjoy the savings. Thank you guys for subbing to my channel. For those of you who don't sub to my channel, like, subscribe, comment below. Let's do this. There's gonna be a lot more stuff coming. Stay tuned. See you guys later.